Five days in the shop. Let's find out what's going on right after this. Welcome to Pale Rider TV Trucking. That is correct. Tomorrow will be day five in the shop. They almost got it finished today. They had to work a little bit overtime to get the uh, a certain thing fixed and I need one more thing fixed when they come in in the morning and I should be ready to go. There's a little bit of story to this. I'm not complaining about the five days. I knew it was going to probably be at least three, but you know, you run into trouble sometimes. And you're on uh, limited hours here, so it's, it's to be expected, expected that I got a lot of work done, man, a lot of work that I've been putting off. So we're going to do a little walk around of the truck here real, real quick. Well, first I'm going to show the first thing before I open the hood. I did have the hood realigned and some new hood, um, hood pins put in so it's nice and tight now it's not loose like it was it's not rubbing up here like it was before and um, see it was off up a little bit it was out of alignment a little bit and um, well that that uh, hot shot flatbed just barely bumped into me a couple years ago and it was out of alignment just enough and it screwed up my hood pins and everything and made the hood real loose. So we got that taken care of. All right, let me uh, open the hood and I'll give you a walk around. Yeah. Besides the hood, I'll show you the hood pins in a minute. I did get new shocks. Four new shocks back here. You can see there's one, two, there's two more up there. And I got two more up front here. Haven't really taken it out on the road yet to see, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot better ride. See, there's one over there, and another one over here. Yeah, right there. There's one of the hood pins. Got two of those, one over here, one on the other side. And sure, the hood is aligned and it don't bounce around. Oh, uh oh, look what I found. I guess he left, the mechanic left a, a tool, so I'd give that back in the morning to the mechanic over there. That's cool. And uh, let's see, I had, a, I had a small oil leak, it was dripping down right there. That's where it was leaking right there, but I thought it was oil. It was coming from the power steering pump. The gasket was bad, so they took, put a new gasket on there and uh, got a new oil cap because it was all cracked and broke and it was leaking out the top. So we got, got that taken care of. Let me see what else. And I got some new radiator hoses or hot water hoses, I believe, or just hoses. They put this one, this one here, it's new. It was leaking right around up here. And this where this bracket is, right here, it was starting to rub it. So they put another one of those on. It was leaking down here. Cold water leak here, so they replaced that. A new one of those and air leaks i had a pretty good air leak i could shut the truck off and within 30 minutes the tanks would be drained but when i shut the truck off i never heard any uh air leaking so they fixed i think they fixed they fixed one that was, um, I think the tank was leaking. Then they fixed that one. I was in the shop looking around. I heard air leaking again, and it was coming from the fan hub. It was leaking. 
Let me fix that one. Then it started leaking from up here somewhere. And that's the one they just finished because they had to take that whole thing out of there and track down all them air lines and it's leaking inside of there. So I think we're good on the air leaks now. If you know how you always chasing air leaks, you fix one and go to somewhere else. But we got three of them fixed. And <laughs> maybe that'll be it for the air leaks. But one thing they didn't get finished today is when I got here Monday, cranked the truck up to take it over there to the shop the AC was blowing out hot air. Now the air compressor is working, but the I think they said it was the actuator. So they ha had to replace the AC actuator in the morning because it's blowing out straight hot air like the heat is on. And uh, we'll get that taken care of in the morning, which will be Friday. That'll be day number five. But I just wanted to take the time get all this stuff done before it got way out of hand and causing me a major breakdown or something we got all the old leaks fixed coolant leaks fixed air leaks fixed i hope new hood pins hood was realigned back to where it's supposed to be the shocks the ac I'm trying to think if they did anything else I can't think of anything right now, but I'm sure I don't have the list. They're probably, you know, so many invoices are doing this and doing that. I probably won't even know the full total price for a couple months when they start sending the invoices in. So I think that's it, man. So I wanted to. When I got empty Sunday night over there in Grand Prairie, I wanted to come over here anyway. I had it lined up with dispatch and everything to take a 34 and get this work done. But I didn't, I really wasn't expecting it to take this long, but you run into problems. He had a heck of a time with the airlines up there, getting those put back together and everything. And it just, hey, some of this stuff, uh, you gotta wait on parts and all that stuff. And that takes extra time, but once we get rolling, hopefully tomorrow afternoon or something, we'll have almost a brand new truck. What do you think about that? <laughs> it should ride like a charm. No air leaks, new shocks. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll be the case. So, I'll, I'll get more updates probably on tomorrow night's live stream or another video over the weekend or something so be sure you uh hang around and check that out if you like this video be sure to check out all my other videos be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video so everybody have a good day stay safe